job of forcing Jones. If Jones were to catch this ball, it would not be a completed pass. Watch the angle here that Flowers takes, leans back onto Jones, forces him out of bounds. Another incompletion for the Ravens. And it brings up third and ten for the Ravens. Flacco guns it. Drop ball, Ray Rice. Baltimore will punt. Sloppy offense here for the Ravens. Yeah, they're just not getting anything on the ground. They're not being able to catch the ball when Flacco has time to throw. That ball is perfectly placed in front of uh, Rice's hands. Whether he would have been able to pick up the first down is another matter. So Sam Cook back on with Javier Arenas. Back for Kansas City. Arenas moves forward. Spun down short of the 20 yard line by Ion Vidagio. 44 yard punt, five yard return. Reminder coming up, Verizon halftime report. JB and the rest of the gang back in New York. The latest scores and highlights. It's all coming up on the Verizon halftime report. You know, this type of field position and only one timeout remaining for Kansas City. I would expect Romeo Cornell to play it very conservatively here. Going to halftime with a 3 3 tie. Romeo was very honest with us in our sit down when we said, Look, nobody expects us to win. And that may include Baltimore as well, but this team is not going to fold. Were his exact words. Right up the middle, Sean Drone. And maybe the fans don't like the conservative approach, but. But why isn't Baltimore? Finally, Baltimore is a timeout. After the three yard gain, second and seven. John Harbaugh. It's a lot of time off after that Thursday night win against the Cleveland Browns and maybe just trying to get a little bit of the rust off. Last week, the NFL replacement reps made news. This week, don't miss New York Giants legend Lawrence Taylor and comedian Bill Burr. JB, Chris, Phil, it's Inside the NFL Wednesdays, only on Showtime. Ryan Suckup, career long of 54 yards, came against Minnesota in 2011. Kansas City has... A lot of room to go if they want to get into suck-ups range. 55 seconds remaining in this second quarter. I remember the last time Matt Castle has only thrown four, four passes in the first half. Charles, 106 yards on 18 carries. Charles, whatever hole there was, it closed up very quickly. Two-yard gain. Arthur Jones combining with Albert McClellan. Pernell McPhee left early, went to the locker room. When Baltimore still had the football on offense, no word on what the issue is with McPhee. So Arthur Jones seeing more time on that defensive line. How about Jamal Charles? First time a running back's gone over 100 yards rushing against this Raven team in the first half in a long, long time. Remember James Allen of the Bears, of course? I do. They're working on the left eye of Jamal Charles. Charles talked about the Baltimore defense. They've got all the favors, their experience. He didn't see any weaknesses on film trying to compare them to the defenses that he's seen in the past. Third and five, four receiver set. 32 running plays compared to four passes for Kansas City in this first half. On the ground. Nice spin. First down for Kansas City out across the 30-yard line. Ed Reed over there defensively trying to make the play on Drone, and he was able to use those legs and the spin move to get the necessary yardage. And that timeout by Kansas City and that spin move was uh, critical for the Chiefs to keep the ball out of the hands of the Ravens. Well, we talked about Ed Reed and just the impact he has 
after all these years, the Fouts focus. Well, it's like, where's Waldo? Or rather, finding Ed Reed. He's all over the place. His line of scrimmage, he blitzes, he makes tackles from sideline to sideline. He thrives when he plays deep and recognizes pass routes. His vision and anticipation often results in interceptions, something he's done 59 times. And of course, he's taken seven back all the way to the end zone. Well, he told us he really loves playing here. Fans are always into it. He appreciates the history of the franchise. And also, when his brother Brian passed away a couple of years ago, this is where the team played afterwards. And he said there's always going to be a special place in his heart. Baltimore won that playoff game against Kansas City. Charles. Out of bounds, just short of midfield, Jamal Charles. Yeah, now they're getting, they got a shot now. One play. They got time to get to the line of scrimmage, spike the ball, and uh, perhaps get suck up in range. Another big gain for Jamal Charles. First and 10 Chiefs from the Kansas City 48-yard line. 125 yards in the first half against this Baltimore defense. Six yards a carry. Right now, Kansas City needs 17, 18 yards in that range to get stuck up an opportunity. A throw. Catch is made by Bo. And now they've got to hustle and kill the clock. As Castle will spike it. Still plenty of time. Got 18 seconds left. And the spike by Castle with 16 seconds left. A uh, field goal from here would be about 63, 64 yards, which uh, would be a tall order for anyone. So maybe another pass to the sidelines, third down now. It's about all the Chiefs can hope for, but that would give Dwayne Bow every shot with his ability to make catches under tight coverage. And it's got to be near the sideline. At one stretch in 2011, Suckup connected on 22 consecutive field goal attempts. He is 9 of 10 this year. Trying to get some more yardage for Suckup. Play clock down to double zero. And that's a killer. Unbelievable. That's following a spike. Third down. Yeah, the fans have every right to boo that. That's on uh, the offensive coordinator and the quarterback. Play coming in perhaps too late. Castle unaware of where the play clock is. This is his home stadium. He ought to know where it is. He ought to be able to look at it every time he gets to the line of scrimmage. That's the first thing you got to do. Sixteen seconds remaining now in this first half. Castle. Little floater. Out of bounds. Sean Drone. 12 seconds remaining now. Well, now they, they are in range, I believe, at least for a, a good attempt. Would be a 60-yarder for that man right there. Decision time for Romeo Cornell. It's fourth down. They didn't get the first down on that drone catch. Yeah, well, they're going to bring the chains out. So they get a break here, stop the clock, bring the chains from the other side of the field to see if indeed he was short of the first down. Kansas City and Baltimore tied at three. We have 12 seconds to play in this first half in a half that has seen the Chiefs dominate on the ground. 180 yards rushing for Kansas City. 218 overall. Baltimore with 106 yards total. And he's that short of a first down. So what's the decision? You go for it on fourth down, get the first down, and hope somehow that you can get your guy on the field to kick a field goal, or at this point, you got to try the field goal attempt from 60 yards away. Well, you can go for the quarterback sneak, hope to get it, line up quickly, spike the ball, and then maybe you're at 59 yards instead of 60. But this would be 60 from here for Suckup. There is no win. And the punter's coming out. So all that field goal talk goes with the win. The fans don't like this. But, again, it's a conservative call. Cornell... Concerned that if you kick a long field goal, sometimes you got to kick it low. Ravens have a chance of blocking it. Maybe they could pick it up and take it the other way. That's got to be the thinking on the Chiefs sideline. But well, why punt it? It's fourth and short. 
you could just have the quarterback keep it. If he doesn't get it, time probably going to run out in this first half. Well, they're going to stop the game, and it's going to be challenged to check the spot. I'm a streaker. I'm 300 pounds, painted blue, and apart from the cleats, I'm completely naked. And if you've got cut rate insurance, they might not pay for this. So get all state. Mm. You can save cash and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an all state agent. Are you in good hands? International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, IBEW, powering North America. A devious scheme. What is that under our bed? Leaves a tribe in turmoil. You betrayed me. New Survivor, Wednesday, only CBS. The new season has begun, and CBS has the number one show. The number one comedy. Now I'm going to pause to let that sink in. The number one news program. The number one and number two new shows. Excellent. And once again, CBS wins Premier Week. Only CBS. And they're checking the, from the replay booth. This is a replay review at the end of the first half. It certainly appeared that Drone had enough for the first down, but now the Chiefs talking over their options on the sidelines. And Pete Morelli After will tell us. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Fourth down. But I like your point, Ian. Why even bring the punter out? Why not just sneak it, see if you can get the first down? Well, you need a couple of inches. That, or you could try a, lot of a quick little out play. And if you get a five or seven yard out, you get a first down. I mean, look, obviously... These are the coaches' decisions, and they've got to live with them. And Romeo is most comfortable with Holbrook coming out, punting it, and pinning Baltimore deep so they don't even get a Hail Mary attempt. And now the clock will just run out anyway. Three all. Kansas City and Baltimore with one half of play complete. We'll come back to Verizon Halftime Report after this message, a word from your local station. This is the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 47. Oh, my God. There are some mysteries. You're not real. Even Patrick Jane can't explain. You're not my daughter. My daughter was murdered. A new mentalist tonight, only CBS. Monday. We're being robbed. Just when you thought they couldn't get any broker. We'll get through this together. Take her, not me. A new two broke girls and it's new time. Then, say cheese. Oh, my God. Every one of these wedding pictures is worse than the last. It looks like he should be hanging from the end of a fish hook. New Mike and Molly after two broke girls, Monday. Catch CSI. Wednesday, only CBS. Medcap Bank. <laughs> Official bank of the Chiefs. <laughs> Price Chopper wants you to save more during our one-day sale. Save on school lunches with Oscar Mayer Basic Lunchables, just 79 cents. Red Ripe Strawberries, $1.29. Best Choice Vegetables, only 29 cents. And 24 packs of Price Chopper Bottled Water, just $1.99. Thanks to Price Chopper, I'll never pay full price on gas again. Price Chopper, fresher ways to save. Dad. Listen, we're going to go broke unless we figure out a way to divvy up the oh, shared that. data plan fairly. So, uh, whoever's fathered the most children gets the most data. Let's just do it by hair. Body hair? Most dental work. What? Stop downloading and stop liking everything. It should be by who has the least amount of cartilage in their left knee. Just want to take a bath. Say no to sharing. Say yes to Sprint. With truly unlimited data, text, and calling. 
great day as an adventure in your world. Organize your adventure with a free Android tablet on qualifying purchases at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Plus, there's special door deals on Sunday and Columbus Day while they last. For a limited time, buy any qualifying furniture, carpet, or area rug, $9.99 or more, and get a free Android tablet. Get Columbus Day deals in appliances and electronics, too, and 18-month financing on qualifying purchases. Discover all the Columbus Day holiday savings now at Nebraska Furniture Mart. CBS Sports presents the Verizon Halftime Report. Get coverage of every NFL game on NFL Mobile from Verizon. And welcome back to Studio 43 here in New York and the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm James Brown along with my guys Dan, Coach Shannon, and Boomer. Let's get you caught up on the first half action around the NFL. Yes, JB, Baltimore and Kansas City, low score in first half. Following a block in the back, here Ray Rice takes off the left side, cuts, weaves, dodge, stiff arms, gets down, would lead to a field goal. <clears throat> Matt Castle intends to pass, caroms off of Dwayne Bowe right into the hands of Ladarius Webb, who returns it. Jamal Charles, 20 carries, a buck 25 in the first half. Wow. Running back with over 100 yards in the first half since 1998. Okay, on a punt by the Bengals, Rashard Jones, the ball hits him, and it's picked up and recovered by Vontez Burfick. Alert. For a perfect play. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and then Javorski Lane, he Whoa. fumbles, tears. What's the name? Newman picks it up. Wofsky. Beats. That's two turnovers by Miami, but Daniel Thomas goes in one yard, touchdown. 7-6, Miami. Perfect, Dan, perfect. Dan just blocks all that out, Shannon. All right, here's the little eye vision for you, boys. Here's Josh Morgan. He's in the oh, slot yeah. on the left. And there's Chase Blackburn. He's the middle linebacker. Chase Blackburn cannot run with Josh Gordon down the middle Someone of the field. Chase Blackburn can't run with me. That's right. 62 yards later, touchdown. Up go the Browns, 14 up. And back come the Giants. Victor Cruz, that's his first touchdown reception of the day. And here's the second one. What a great Little run, nifty run by Ahmad Bradshaw. And then watch this play fake right there. Ooh. Victor Cruz to the corner. Mm. Nobody there. Wow. The the Giants come all the way back. Cruz. They now lead 24-17. All right, Bill. I'll tell you, just when you thought Michael Vick got it, he didn't get it. Watch this. He's going to take this ball. He's going in for the score. Score. Ryan oh, Clark, no. fumble. Larry Foote recovers it. Touchback. Pittsburgh gets the ball. Again, back. Michael's going to scramble. No. Fumble. Hit yes. again by La La Lawrence Timmons. Larry Foote recovers again. And then coming back from the ACL, his first game back, Richard Mendenhall on the swing pass. He's going to take it in. Pittsburgh getting ready to score. Has the ball down at the, uh, inside the 10-yard line, leading 7-0. Mm -hmm. You hear that, you hear that coach? Yeah, All right, how about this? Yeah, Matt Ryan. Here you go. <laughs> Little screen pass. No. Oh! How about Ryan oh. Kerrigan? He picks it off. Great play by the defense. Lyman for the uh, Redskins. Matt Ryan's going to pass to Tony Gonzalez. This is going to go all the way down Big to the one-yard line. And then he comes back. Play action pass. All right, let's give Tony a touchdown. Two flags. That was a hold on the Redskins. Touchdown. 7-7. Seven, seven, halftime. Falcons and Redskins. Nice job to go back to Gonzalez. Yes. Yep. And here's Mike McCarthy. He's uh, with Bruce Arians wearing a Chuck Strong shirt in honor of Coach uh, Chuck Pagano currently battling leukemia. And Aaron Rodgers, he rolls out, throws the James Jones six-yard touchdown, 14-0 Green Bay. And Aaron Rodgers, watch this bullet here, boom. Oh, man, what a throw. Randall Cobb, 31 yards, touchdown, 21-3 Green Bay. That is pretty, boy. That it? was pretty. In high school, right. I could throw just like that. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Is there any film on that one? Hey, earlier on the NFL today, we had an exclusive live interview with replacement official Lance Easley, who ruled touchdown on the controversial Hail Mary play at the end of the Green Bay-Seattle game. Well, I had the play the whole way. That was in my Your area. call. Yes, it was. Still a touchdown in your mind. Yes. The touchdown play after I, I went up with it is going to stand. To those who say you robbed the Packers, your answer is? No. Did not? Not at all. You know what, guys? He was here with us uh, in the first half of these early games. He's a really good guy. He's beyond reproach. Yeah, that was good. All right, folks. Hey, reminder, coming up here, second half action on CBS. Denver at New England. That's the showdown. Get Manning <laughs> arriving. <laughs> Be the 13th matchup, yeah? Oh, baby, baby looking, looking good. Let the ball fly, right, Danny? Yeah, see let it guy, fly. Let it fly. That's what no, it's It'll be interesting play. to see how Denver plays New England. A lot of people have been playing them in nickel. They can stay in their base defense. I think that how they play each other defensively, to me, 
will have a lot to do with the scoring in this game. I've seen that look on Peyton's face before. He threw for about 405 TDs. Oh, I got that. That's coming. Big <laughs> guy. Big guy. Let it fly, Peyton. Let your way. Right after fly. this. Oh, You've coming. seen that look oh, before. <laughs> CBS Sports presents the Verizon Halftime Report. Get coverage of every NFL game on NFL Mobile from Verizon. Get ready for a new Blue Bloods. Oh, the people are ready. And X returns. You still have your married name on the door. It's like someone on a diet keeping a fat picture of themselves. And the winner of the Commissioner for a Day contest. So, smile. But wait, there's more. A case gets deadlier. Looks like we got ourselves a serial killer. A new Blue Bloods, CBS Friday. Get the Verizon Halftime Report live online every Sunday, only from Verizon. Visit cbssports.com slash Verizon. NFL Network presents 13 matchups live and in prime time. Big Ben and Troy Palomalu lead the black and gold into a critical showdown. No against Chris Johnson and a hungry Tennessee squad. Play for everything we got right here. Steelers, Titans, live on NFL Network. You want the NFL? Go to the NFL. Yo, we just scored. What are you, man? Hey, Greg. I had to sell my seats because I got this thing that came up. Hey, dog. We bought your seats, dog. Yay. Yay! Yeah, Greg Jennings is in our lap. I wish Greg Jennings was in my lap. Doug, I told you we just scored. Why aren't you smiling? I am smiling. Show it to me. There's a big Dougie smile. That's my guy. I said Star NFL to get coverage of every NFL game on NFL Mobile from Verizon. Halftime here in Kansas City, three all. The Chiefs at one and three. The Ravens at three and one. We'll return to Kansas City after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 47. Meet your mother Monday at 8, 7 Central, only CBS. KCTV5, home of the Chiefs. If you're looking for a great truck, listen to the experts. Like J.D. Power & Associates, who've ranked the Toyota Tundra the most dependable large pickup seven years in a row. Now that's toughness you can count on. Is there really anything else to say? Okay, one more thing. Right now, get great deals on Tundra. Ranked higher than the Ford F-150, Chevy Silverado, and Ram truck on the 2011 Cars.com American Made Index. That's a lot for less. Toyota. Look at you guys with your fancy schmancy U-verse high-speed internet. You know, in my day, you couldn't just start streaming six ways to Sunday. You'd get knocked off. And sometimes it took a minute to download a song. That's 60 seconds for crying out loud. We know how long a minute is. Sitting, waiting for an album to download? I still have back problems. You're only 14 and a half. He doesn't have back problems. You kids have got it too good if you ask me. Now get even more reliability when you bundle UVerse high-speed internet with home phone. Rethink possible. I'm Dave Spence. I've spent the last 26 years creating jobs. And Jay Nixon, he spent those years running for office. Maybe that's why he's hiding behind false attack ads. He's had a lot of practice, but Nixon's attacks won't bring back the jobs we've lost because of his failed policies. With career politician Jay Nixon in charge, Missouri's doing worse than our neighbors, and we're losing more jobs. The choice is clear. You can vote to save his job or to save yours. A Missouri job creator, Dave Spence for governor. Hey. My little boy loves playing football. It's a great game. But what is the NFL doing to make the game safer? One time, we're developing new rules to better protect our players. 
And over the next decade with the NFL Players Union, they're dedicating more than $100 million for medical research. Wow. As well as supporting the development of better and safer equipment. And I feel a lot better about him playing. Love to meet the little guy. Ray, meet Tom. Cute kid. Rejoining you here in Kansas City, Scott Bayo has been thrilled. Charles has very much been in charge. 125 rushing yards in the first half, but a couple of giveaways for Kansas City. Baltimore able to score points off of one of those mistakes. And we are getting ready for second half action. Three all, Baltimore and Kansas City all tied up. Time right now for the Droid Razor M play presented by Motorola. Matt Castle's job. Get it to Jamal Charles in the first half. And a really good idea. This 25-yard run by Charles that just kind of showed you what uh, the Chiefs' game plan was coming into today's game. Charles on the ground, limit Castle's exposure in the pocket, and really take advantage of a very flat uh, Baltimore offense. And defensively, Baltimore just has no aim what the Chiefs are doing on the ground. Ian Eagle along with Dan Fouts. Joe Flacco has not gotten a whole lot of help number of drops but the game plan brian dable romeo cornell and the chiefs are executing it charles has been brilliant it may be conservative the fans may not like it but the fans have got to realize it's 3-3 at halftime kansas city just trying to find a way to win a game at this stage and the numbers certainly favor kansas city with 216 total yards 179 of which came on the ground with the two turnovers time of possession nearly two to one in favor of the chiefs and the time of possession is what's wearing out the defense for the ravens that along with the no huddle offense that the chiefs are running kind of giving baltimore some of their own medicine baltimore had so much success in the first quarter of the season going three and one with the no huddle offense today they, today they're really struggling charles came in second in the nfl in rushing yards behind seattle's marshawn lynch and a huge first half for charles 125 on the ground kickoff suck up deontay thompson football is loose at the 30-yard line yeah as he was going down it looked like one of the chiefs was ripping out the ball and may have gotten it. All the Chiefs on the sidelines think the Chiefs have it. Terrence Copper is right in the middle of it for Kansas City on the strip. Yeah, I think it's a, a good play by Copper. Second big play by Copper on special teams in this game. That's a scrum at the bottom. And the Chiefs have got it. Kansas City, huge play to open up this second half. Here's Copper right here. Watch as he reaches back with his right hand to grab the shoulder and then down to get the ball. But was the knee of Thompson down? This might may be worth a challenge by Harbaugh. It's up to tell from that angle when the ball exactly came out. But it definitely came out. No, that ball's out before the knee hits the ground. Edgar Jones, the former Baltimore Raven, with the recovery for Kansas City. We will review the previous play. Now it's a turnover, so it will be reviewed. I think John Harbaugh was making sure that the officials recognized that so he didn't have to throw out the red flag. They'll take a look. Today's business travel challenge, Departure Dash. The other airlines versus Southwest. These businessmen are making their way through the airport. Slow going in security for that other airlines contestant. Uh-oh, ah. look at their boarding process. What a mark. <laughs> no. But the Southwest contestant shows a business select fare. With fly-by security access and priority boarding, he's breezing through. That other guy's going nowhere fast. Be unstoppable with business select. Business travelers win with Southwest. Little news, everyone. The Little Weeks down at corporate are coming in, so I want everyone to think little. Little is the new big. New KFC Chicken Littles. Get big taste for a little price, just $1.29. This is going to be little. Here it is, the cool slice. Bud Light Lime. It's everything you love about Bud Light, with a twist of 100% natural lime flavor. Bud Light Lime. Summer is calling. 
power was very important to me. We test drove the Camry, took it on the freeway, and it was just like, this was the car for me. It had stuff that guys liked, like the rims and the sleekness to the body, and then uh, had the Bluetooth and the navigation that Diane really wanted. And it was an SE, so it felt really grounded to the ground. Grounded to the ground? Yes, yes grounded <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> See their story and more at the Camry Effect. Camry from Toyota. Monday, could you compete with a superstar? You slept with Derek Jeter. It was one weekend. Two weekends. A new partner, CBS Monday. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. Great play After by Terrence Copper. The play, the ruling on the field stands. First down, cancel. Yeah, Thompson's knee was all, not all the way to the ground before Copper was able to strip the ball. You can see Jones coming in with the recovery. Super play by Terrence Copper on that tackle. Six seconds into this second half, Kansas City has the football with a first and ten at the 29 of Baltimore. Two tight ends in this formation, Moiaki and Maneri. Charles. Jamal Charles stumbles as Kerry Williams gets a piece. Three-yard gain for Charles. First play from scrimmage in the third quarter. So important for the Chiefs to get into the end zone, get a touchdown, reward Copper, and the special teams for getting that turnover. Two weeks ago, Jamal Charles went for 233 rushing yards in the victory over New Orleans. Kansas City is yet to lead in a game this year in regulation, a lone victory coming in overtime. On a pass to the outside, Bo has got it. He's working against Lardarius Webb. A long time since the Chiefs have had a lead in a ball game. Have to go back. January 1st against Denver. McCluster, a 21-yard touchdown in the first quarter. Gave Kansas City a 7-0 lead. They won the game 7-3. They haven't led in regulation since. Jamal Charles, the ball carrier. Charles with the run. Jameel McLean with the hit. And on first glance, it looked like it's enough for a first down. It is. But uh, go back to that last pass play. It was complete to Bo, but Bo had to go down to his knees to make the catch. If he had been able to stay on his feet with a better pass from Castle, he might have been able to make some more yardage. Purnell McPhee is in there for Baltimore. He left early at the end of the second quarter. New set of downs for Kansas City with a tight formation. Drone in the backfield. Drone, nothing there. Ravens set the edge. Jameel McLean among those defensively making the play a loss of two. Yeah, let's check out uh, McLean from his inside mic position. Watch as he reads this play, knows it's coming off tackle. He shoots the gap and gets to Charles. Second and 11 now for Kansas City. Drone with 35 yards on the ground. Castle a rare throw. Floater, it gets there to Bo. Not a whole lot on it, but it covers seven yards with Kerry Williams there on defense. But again, Bo's got to make a circus catch on a little hitch route where he's wide open. Ball comes in low, and it gives him absolutely no chance to use any of his uh, talents to make extra yards. Matt Castle on the day, 7 of 9, 50 yards, one interception. Coming into week five, over 1,000 yards passing through four games, the most ever by a Chiefs quarterback in the first four games of the season. Castle to Bo, incomplete, but a flag down. Kerry Williams drawing the assignment, Bo pointing in his direction. And this was a good throw by Castle. It's a back shoulder fade. And Pass it's interference, number 29, defense, automatic, first down. Gary Williams forces Bo out wide, but makes contact right there as the ball is in the air, and Bo still almost makes this grab around the back of Williams. Great effort by Bo. 
12-yard penalty. It sets the ball up at the one. First and goal for Kansas City. Castle. Did he fumble? He fumbled. Baltimore's got it. Ed Reed comes out of the pack with a football. And Reed is dumped at the 13-yard line. How does it happen? That's what this Arrowhead crowd is asking themselves between boos. It's, uh, the snap is there. Castle appeared to be trying to get between Lilja and Jeff Allen on the left side. Watch the ball come up. Castle's hands were expecting it sooner, so this ball is actually snapped late by Lilja. Castle never had the ball. And guess who comes out with it? Yep, number 20, Ed Reed. And Bernard Pollard was grabbing onto Reed's jersey there. Reed might have been able to go all the way to the end zone there. Castle appeared to be over anxious on this quarterback sneak. Remember, Lilja has never played center before, but was forced to because of injury. Yeah, there's no contact on Reed by a Kansas City Chief. Would have been better off for the Ravens if there had been. The ball would have been brought out to the 20 yard line. The ball was clearly out. As you noted, Dan, Castle just never had it. The Kansas City Chiefs a yard away from leading for the first time this season in regulation, getting a touchdown off the turnover, opening up this second half, and look at the scoreboard. It's still three all. Baltimore's got the football. That's just disastrous for Kansas City. It, it's really unbelievable. But that's the reason why they're one and three. Matt Castle, 13 turnovers himself. That goes down as a fumble for the quarterback as well. Their third turnover of the day. Ray Rice bangs his way on an inside run, trying to cut it outside for two. Tom Mahali making that stop for Kansas City. Yeah, this was reviewed upstairs because it's a turnover, and they're, re they're reviewing whether Ed Reed was touched by John Asamoah, number 73 right there. Looked like they bumped shoulders, but at that point, Reed did not have control of the ball as he got up off the ground is when he did get the ball, and that's when Asamoah touched him. Second down, Flacco over the middle, connects with Anquan Bolden. He breaks a tackle. Bolden into Kansas City territory. Anquan Bolden made Flowers miss, and he turns it upfield for 43 yards on the hookup. Longest reception for Bo uh, for. Uh, Anquan Bolden this entire season. Watch him break this tackle. Remember, he's 220 pounds, so he goes by flowers easily. Working quickly now. Ray Rice hits the sideline, and Rice is forced out of bounds. He got the angle just short of the 15-yard line. Stanford route with a little shove. And Baltimore is in business after the 26-yard burst by Ray Rice. Well, that fumble just uh, deflated this Kansas City team. You can see they're totally out of position when uh, Flacco snaps the ball, so the hurry-up offense operating faster really was a benefit to the Ravens that time. And now they jump off sides, though. Penalty marker thrown. This play never gets going. 72 offense. Five-yard penalty remains first down. Kansas City Chiefs, a dispirited group right now. Yeah, they're totally outplaying the Ravens. They get the turnover on the opening kickoff. Great field position. The pass interference puts the ball on the one-yard line, and they fumble it away on the quarterback sneak. Unbelievable. Fourth penalty against Baltimore here this afternoon. First and 15 now for the Ravens. Play fake. The quick strike to Anquan Bolden. Nine yards on the pass play, and Bolden very slow getting up and favoring the left leg. He's going to limp off to the Baltimore sideline. So Jacoby Jones steps in for Bolden, the 10-year veteran. As a well 
thrown ball by Flacco, nice and low on the slant route. But uh, Bolden tangled up with the defensive back, came up limping. There's also their emergency quarterback, Bolden, who played it at Florida State. Second and six. Up the gut, Rice got hit from behind, which gave him extra yardage. Give him a gain of two just inside the 10. Tamba Hali will get credit for the stop. As, as we go back to the injury to Bolden, hard to tell, but he felt it uh, appeared to be his right leg. Bolden trying to walk it off along that Baltimore sideline. This crowd will get re-energized, cheering on the defense. A third and four for the Ravens. Tied at three, under nine minutes to go on the third. On the give, Rice, first contact comes from Derek Johnson with the lick. Two-yard gain as he got finished off by Holly. Now Derek Johnson playing with an injury himself, has a sore groin, didn't practice all that much this week, but he is a playmaker. Watch him right here as Rice tries to get north and south quickly, and Johnson with just enough to keep Rice from picking up the first down. All the scoring has come from the field goal kickers here today. 26-yard attempt for the rookie, Justin Tucker. Cook holds it. Morgan Cox snaps it. Tucker drills it. 6-3 lead for Baltimore. And even eight minutes to go in the third. Read the fumble recovery to set it up. We built the Toyota Tundra like you would. You wouldn't give it just any old V8. Yours would have a crankshaft strong enough to take on the heaviest jobs. And you'd make sure your truck's got brakes you can trust. Bigger than any other half ton. Now that's real stopping power. The overbuilt Tundra from Toyota. How much does it cost to cut an energy bill down to size? or get the yard ready for cool weather? The answer, a lot less. The Great American Fix-Up is going on now, with new projects every week and big savings every day. So you can do what needs to be done today. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Right now, Owens Corning EcoTouch Attic Insulation is only $11.87 a roll. stand up to her. No, you're not. I know. You know, Ronnie, folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico sure are happy. How happy are they, Jimmy? Happier than a witch in a broom factory. Get happy. Get Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. The Home Depot. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. And by GEICO, where 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Baltimore with a 6-3 lead on Kansas City. Eight minutes to go in the third quarter. The Chiefs have dropped six of their last seven games here at Arrowhead. They have outplayed the Ravens here today. But it's Baltimore up on the scoreboard with Tucker kicking it off following the short field goal. And Drone waiting for it in the end zone. This one's going to take a bounce. Rolls the drone. Stutter step move out across the 20-yard line, and that's where Kansas City will set things up. Matt Castle, just a brutal turnover at the goal line. Kansas City down by three. Power was very important to me. We test drove the Camry, took it on the freeway, and it was just like, this was the car for me. It had stuff that guys liked, like the rims and the sleekness to the body, and then uh, had the Bluetooth and the navigation that Diane really wanted. And it was an SE, so it felt really grounded to the ground. Grounded to the ground? Yes, yes grounded <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> See their story and more at the Camry Effect. Camry from Toyota. 
Right now, get your favorite Pizza Hut pizzas for just 10 bucks when you carry out. Any size, any toppings on our hand-tossed, thin and crispy, or world-famous pan crust. Freshly prepared every day for legendary taste. Only at your Pizza Hut. Make it great. Creating a business website is easy. Point and click to create your site. Choose from 200 industries with customizable business designs. Add your pictures and text. Customers will find you everywhere. Try it for free. Oneinone.com. These cover identities were created specifically for each one of you. The only way this works, you have to know your resume back to front. They're going to try to break you. What's your middle name? What's your middle name? Shoot him. He's an American spy. They are calling the operation. If they stay here, they will be taken. If you get caught, they'll kill you. I'm taking them through. Argo, an incredible true story. Rated R, October 12th. So are you campaigning with your husband? Yes. And you agree with him politically? I know. <laughs> your new client. He's my husband. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Shut it down. Well, there's no doubt Matt Castle is feeling the pressure to perform at a high level and get this team some wins. 44 games that he has started in Kansas City. The Chiefs are 19 and 25. Handoff for Charles and spilled out after the three-yard gain. Courtney Upshaw, first man there. Well, check this body language here for Castle. First of all, he's low. That tells the defense a sneak is coming. Now watch how early he starts before the ball's even snapped. He's in motion looking for the ball from Lilja who doesn't feel that momentum coming from behind and the snap is never completed. The backup quarterback for Kansas City is Brady Quinn. Fans have reacted. They booed Castle before. They booed him here today. Romeo Cornell has been asked about it throughout the week. And off Charles thrown down by Nada. We asked Cornell about Matt Castle. He said, look, we have to see more consistency. We don't want to see him forcing things, throwing picks, taking sacks. It's okay to throw the ball away. But he also said, you know, as the head coach, I have to allow the quarterback a chance to do his job. Castle, he's a competitor. He'll go out there and compete. I'm going to give him an opportunity to keep this job, to hold on to the starting quarterback job. Third and 12 now for Kansas City. It's Charles. Caught from behind. Fans don't like it. Well, it just shows you the lack of confidence that uh, Daybold and Purnell have in their quarterback right now. They built a game plan that's uh, primarily around Jamal Charles, and that part of it's been successful. But on a third and long to run a draw play and expect Charles to get it all, it just tells me that they don't trust Castle throwing the ball. Dustin Colquitt will punt it. Jacoby Jones standing at the 25. Big kick. Back pedaling. Jones from the 14. Went the sideline, then went inside a bit and is bottled up at the 25 by Greenwood. On special teams, a 58-yard punt, a 10-yard return, and a three-point lead for the Ravens. Miller Time. You won't find it on any clock or specific time zone. Miller Time isn't so much about when as it is about who. It's about the friends you go to bat for, the ones who'll be there when they say they will. Even if being there means crossing state lines, no questions asked. Because guys that leave nobody behind deserve a beer that leaves no taste behind. And with great friends and a great tasting like beer, it's not just a good time, it's Miller time. I have a Toyota Camry Hybrid. Tell me about that. Katie and I talked about really committing to making a difference in the amount of gas that we use. She was using eight to 10 tank fluids. I was using five tank fluids. Now I use one tank full a month and she may use about two. It drives like a sports car, it handles very well. People are a little surprised that a hybrid zip pie them <laughs> the way that I do. See Phil's story and more at the Camry Effect. Camry from Toyota. Let's talk about that 401k you picked up back in the 80s. Like a lot of things, the market has changed, and your plans probably have too. At Charles Schwab, we'll give you personalized recommendations on how to reinvest that old 401k. 
So talk to Chuck and bring your old 401k into the 21st century. Roll over your old 401k to a Schwab IRA and you can receive up to $600. See Schwab.com for terms and conditions. TV's number one news show, Vegas, Tuesday, only CBS. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Let's talk about giving your portfolio a better chance to grow. Talk to Chuck. And by Toyota Care. Caring for you and your car. On first down, Joe Flacco throws. Ed Dixon, who's been a forgotten man in this offense, just five catches for 50 yards coming into the game here today. And that one covers 10 yards and a first down. Tonight on 60 Minutes. What Chinese company you've never heard of worries the American government the most? Find out tonight on 60 Minutes, only CBS. Yeah, they have that clock ticking for this offense. The hurry up offense, huh? And that was about eight seconds. Flacco, a little floater for Rice. Trying to get him to the open field. Rice hurdles into Kansas City territory. He goes airborne for some extra yardage, 16 yards. And Matt Burke actually might have been in on the play as Rice had to try to get over his offensive lineman. In fact, uh, when Rice go forward, he kind of tripped over Burke, may have kicked him in the side there. Burke feeling it, slow to get up, and now slow to get over the ball. Six-time Pro Bowler now in his 15th year in the NFL. He's been right in the forefront of the yoga work that the Ravens have been doing as a team. Picked off! Flacco has it intercepted by Flowers and knocked down from behind. Joe Flacco with a sideline throw and it's a 24-yard return for Flowers. Yeah, Flacco late coming out to his receiver on the sidelines. And that's where he gets in trouble, threw it behind. And Flowers, who picked off a pass last week against the Chargers, is going to pick off this one. Cal Flacco coming to this outlet receiver on the sidelines. Ball thrown to the inside. Bolden has no chance of knocking it away from Flowers. And again, the Chiefs have great field position. What can their offense do with it? Kansas City takes over with a first and 10 at the 36 of Baltimore. For Joe Flacco, that is interception number four this season. Flowers' second pick in consecutive weeks. Handoff. Charles tried to loop it outside, and there's nothing there. Baltimore's now ready for these running plays from Kansas City. Chiefs are going to have to adjust as Pernell McPhee played it perfectly. Right, normally, when you run this ball effectively, play action and passing is a good idea. You fake the ball to Charles, draw the linebackers up, and maybe hit your tight end over the middle. But, uh, you know, for the Chiefs, Bo's got five catches, Charles won, Drone won. Those are the seven completion that Castle has thrown. And now a costly timeout used here by the Chiefs in the third quarter. Spot, you ready? Share everything by turning your smartphone into a mobile hotspot for up to eight Wi Fi enabled devices and no extra charge, like the new Droid Razor M by Motorola, only $99.99. It's here. It's the 20th edition of Monopoly at McDonald's in one in four wins. With over $300 million in cash and great prizes, it's the most prizes ever. And that's hard to beat. The simple joy of winning. You've reached the age where you don't back down from a challenge. This is the age of knowing how to make things happen. So why let erectile dysfunction get in your way? Talk to your doctor about Viagra. 20 million men already have. 
Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain. It may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Side effects include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease or loss in vision or hearing. This is the age of taking action. Viagra. Talk to your doctor. Monday. We're being robbed. Just when you thought they couldn't get any broker. We'll get through this together. Take her, not me. A new two broke girls and it's new time. Then, say cheese. Oh, my God. Every one of these wedding pictures is worse than the last. It looks like he should be hanging from the end of a fish hook. New Mike and Molly after two broke girls Monday. Brandon Flowers' intersection has given the Kansas City offense another opportunity here. Two timeouts remaining now for the Chiefs. Under four minutes to go in the third. Ball bounces in the air. It's intercepted by Williams. The Chiefs give it right back as it bounced off of Bo. And it is in complete disarray right now for the KC offense. And this was a good throw by Matt Castle. Trying to hit the uh, post route to Bo. Ball goes right through Bo's hands. Goes off his helmet up into the air where it's an easy pick for Williams and the Ravens. Heck, they had to uh, draw lots to see who was going to catch this one. Gary Williams had an interception return for a touchdown that went for 63 yards last week in the win over Cleveland. He's come under some scrutiny. They know how locked down they have one side of the field with Lardarius Webb. And Williams in the right spot, but you're right. Take your pick. There were four Ravens there. First down for Ray Rice. Rice, no cutting room there. Give him a gain of three on the play as Derek Johnson is in on that stop. Hey, you you want to say it's good defense, but really, this is just a horrible offense that the Chiefs have run. Doing a great job on the ground, but uh, you can only do that so much before a defensive team like the Ravens adjusts, which they have. Second and eight now for Baltimore. Deep drop for Flacco. Waits for the play to develop. Hits his fullback. Vontae Leach. Flag thrown at the 44-yard line as Leach veers out of bounds. 17 yards on the pass play. This might be holding against Kansas City. Thrown in the secondary. Holding. Number 26, defense. Penalty will be declined. Result of the play, first down. Lante well, Leach, who only has one rush on the year. That's nine catches now for him. Here's the holding on the outside. Route working on Torrey Smith. Smith trying to get away, but Route's got a grip on him. Well, this Baltimore team has been dominant at home. 14 straight home victories, including the playoffs. Last year, a 500 team on the road. Rice. A little shake and bake move for Rice. Out across the 45 for a five-yard gain. Last year, they lost games on the road at Jacksonville and at Tennessee. Last two games now for Kansas City. Five lost fumbles, five interceptions. That's ten turnovers. In the last two weeks, we still have another quarter to work with here in week five. Down to 220 remaining in the third. 6-3 Baltimore. Flacco, plenty of time. Guns it to Torrey Smith. Smith turns it upfield. So dangerous after the catch. He's a burner. Have to respect his speed. Working the sideline routes. And that's a 26-yard pass play. And that's uh, better than his average. He averages 20 yards a catch. Look at the throwing lane, the time to throw, the perfect throw by Flacco. This is where it gets exciting when Smith gets his ball, gets the ball in his hands with space around him to use all that speed. The Ravens lead the league in passing plays of 20 yards or more. That's now 26 on the season. First down for Baltimore in Kansas City territory. And a gift for Bernard Pierce. Pierce stays on his feet. Excellent work by Pierce inside the 15. It's a 12-yard gain as we head to New York and JB. Boom, the education of RG3. Better go to the education of Dan Fouts because he would have never done this. RG3, great athlete, gets outside, slips, and takes a wicked shot from Sean Weatherspoon of the Falcons on the sideline getting stitches and right now in the locker room.
10-7, Washington over Atlanta. I was going to ask Dan Fouts how long did it take him to learn the defense hits hard. Ian and Dan. JB, the sideline is your friend, especially when you're a quarterback. RG3, you got to get out of bounds, man. New set of downs for Baltimore. Flacco throws. Leach releasing out of the backfield, but can't haul it in. Incomplete with 47 seconds to go in the third quarter. A drop pass has continued to be an issue. Yeah, Flacco 13 of 25, but his most reliable receivers have dropped passes today. That's Pitta. This one is Bolden. In fact, Bolden's going to drop two. This one went right through his hands and about the reliable Ray Rice over the middle. Couldn't catch that one. And Leach just drops one there on first down. Four receiver set. Shotgun formation for Flacco on second down. Flacco lobs it upstairs. Incomplete. Rice was matched up with the linebacker Johnson. Rice felt he was held. He'll try to make his case. No flag on the play. It's third down. Yeah, Rice doesn't buy the explanation either because Derek Johnson made contact with him a good 10 to 15 yards down the field. As Rice was turning up looking for that lob pass. Watch the contact right there. It's a play by Derek Johnson. Gets away with one. Eighth play of the drive. 41 seconds to go in the third. Baltimore leading 6-3. Rice sets up as a receiver. Flacco. Can't break free of Justin Houston. Second sack of the day for the young linebacker from Georgia, Houston. Well, Flacco's got to get rid of this ball sooner. He just holds on to it too long. Here's Orr. Here comes Houston. And right now the ball should be out. Flacco trying to escape the pocket. A great effort by Houston. Justin Results in a seven-yard loss. Now, Houston has talked about how much Tamba Ali has helped him. Just learning from him how to take care of your body, how to study film. It's paying off. 39-yard attempt here for Tucker. Play clock is down to one. Get the snap off. Tucker splits the uprights. Baltimore adds to its lead, 9-3 as the third quarter comes to an end. The fourth quarter is coming up. We'll come back to Kansas City after this message and a word from your local station, the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 47. A secretive Chinese company wants to build America's next telecommunications network, a question of national security. Do we trust the Chinese? 60 Minutes, tonight. Don't miss TV's number one comedy, The Big Bang Theory, Thursday, only CBS. It's on KCTV5. The past 50 years in Kansas City have been about more than victories and championships. These 50 years have been about family, and nothing brings your family together like the Chiefs and KFC. To celebrate the Chiefs' 50 years in Kansas City, KFC is offering the Chiefs' Super Bucket Meal. Eight pieces of chicken, two large sides, and four buttermilk biscuits. All inside a special Chiefs commemorative bucket and just $16.99. Pick up the Chiefs Super Bucket Meal. Today's a KFC day. Today tastes so good. Over the last five years, Kia's been the fastest growing car company in America. It's because we've redesigned our entire lineup to be better than ever before. And because the Optima is the most appealing mid-size car. Plus, the Soul was ranked highest in initial quality by J.D. Power & Associates. In other words, Kia is America's fastest-growing car company for good reason. So come in today to see all that Kia has to offer. And right now, lease the Sorento LX for $239 a month. At KCTV5, we know mornings can be pretty hectic, and your time is valuable. So why should you choose It's Your Morning? From local breaking news to stories from around the world, we ask one simple question, how does this affect you? Gary gives you a fast, accurate forecast to help you plan your day and up-to-the-minute traffic updates with Natalie Purr. It's a fast-paced world, and It's Your Morning gives you a head start. We'll see you weekdays starting at 4.30. Eagle Dan Fouts, the rest of our CBS crew, producer Bob Monsbach, director Suzanne Smith, Baltimore with a 9-3 lead over Kansas City as we open up the fourth quarter. 
Justin Tucker, three field goals. All of Baltimore's points have come off Kansas City turnovers, but Kansas City is not taking advantage of the Ravens' turnovers. Tucker kicks it off to Drone and thinks about it. We'll take a knee. Kansas City will have it at the 20-yard line, trailing by six. Nobody knows the game like a quarterback. Don't miss Phil Sims, Rich Gannon, Steve Berline, and special guest, yes, our very own Hall of Famer, Dan Fouts. It's NFL Monday QB tomorrow, 6.30 Eastern only on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. I guess they, they found me up there in the high country of Oregon. They got satellite up there? They're going to be able to make that work? They got two cans and a string. All right. That sounds good. Hand off to Charles up the middle and Kimoyatsu there to wrap him up a two-yard game. You know, the most popular play on a, on a lot of teams when that team is struggling is always the backup quarterback. And you can hear the fans starting to boo Castle almost every play now, clamoring for Brady Quinn to come in. That will be Romeo Cornell's decision, though, not theirs. Second and eight. Charles zigzagging and not much there. He gets chopped down after the game of two. Ravens and Chiefs pushing with Nata getting into it with Eric Winston. And they're not done. Winston signed a four-year, $22 million deal during the offseason when he came over from Houston. Tough, six foot seven. Matching up with one of the biggest men in the NFL, Haloti Nada. Ray Rice closing in on 100 yards rushing. Jamal Charles went for 125 in the first half. He's got 12 in the second half. Castle up in the air. Baldwin's got it. First down, Kansas City at midfield. Lardarius Webb was going for the football, but it's Baldwin. The young wideout in his second year who wins that battle. Well, he wins it because he's 6'4", and his quarterback puts it up in the air where he can go get it. Go, go, goes and gets it over the 5'10", Webb. Spectacular catch by Baldwin. Back to the ground game. Drone finds a lane. And on Drone, the ball carrier. Five-yard gain for Drone. Drone has a very similar running style to Jamal Charles. North and south runner there. He was searching for that hole and finally found it, picked up five. Drone actually played some safety in college at North Carolina. Charles getting a rest on the sideline on a second and five now for Kansas City. We're under 13 minutes to play in this fourth quarter. Out of the gun, Castle. Slant, too high. Baldwin intended receiver. JB and Boomer standing by a New York NFL Today update. Gentlemen. Shady in the end zone, Boomer. That's right, LaShawn McCoy. Take a look at this catch and run. Larry Foot over plays. You can see how quick LaShawn McCoy is. 15 yard TD, 10 7. Steelers over the Eagles. Speaking of Eagles, I and Eagle, Dan Fouts. Now that's a smooth transition. <laughs> Sometimes you wonder why McCoy doesn't get more touches. He's, he's a fabulous back. Got all the moves. Third and five now for Kansas City. Big play here for Castle and the Chiefs. Timing play. He's got McCluster open and a flag thrown. There was contact along this near sideline as McCluster was able to get separation for 25. And this one's coming back. An illegal pick on Jonathan Baldwin. Pass interference. Number 82, the offense. Ten-yard penalty remains. Third down. Yeah, it is on uh, Dwayne Bow. My apologies to Baldwin. Watch Bow come in here, make contact as McCluster's going to run the wheel route here. Just this little bump right there is illegal as he picks off Webb. And there goes the flag. Six penalties against the Kansas City Chiefs, costing them 40 yards. They trail 9-3 and have to do it all again, but now facing a third and 15. Castle again operating out of the gun. Ravens crowd the line. Here they come. Castle gets rid of it. Ringbow delivery. Baldwin 
trying to grab it with one arm. No flag on the play. Jimmy Smith drawing the coverage, and Castle looking for a call. You know, Castle not happy, but they're both Jimmy Smith and Baldwin had their hands on each other going down the sidelines. Baldwin with a great effort to try to grab it with one hand. Lardarius Webb is the return man for Baltimore. Colquitt will punt it. So it's Webb, not Jones, for the Ravens. Webb's going to let it bounce. Takes a roll. Kansas City will down it. At the two-yard line and a penalty marker thrown at the 17 on the far side of the field. Fifty-three yard punt for Colquitt. During the kick, holding number 83 of the receiving team, half the distance of the goal. First down. Timeout. Ravens have it deep in their own territory, but they've got the 9-3 lead on Kansas City in the fourth. Both the Chrysler 200 and 300 are the fastest growing sedans in their classes. With some of the most advanced technology, highest fuel efficiency, and safety ratings, we're building cars that matter to more people. And that's what matters to us. Now, lease the 2012 Chrysler 300 for $299 a month for well-qualified lessees. We didn't always watch football at Buffalo Wild Wings. It's so great to see you guys outside the office. So you brew your own beer? Yeah, for you, Bratwurst beer, and this one's a secret. <laughs> Drink up. This one's ready in two minutes. Protect the football. Buffalo Wild Wings wins beer sports. Introducing the Droid Razor M by Motorola with 4G LTE speed on an edge-to-edge -edge display. Say hello to the full-screen phone. Doug, we just scored. Where are you, man? I had to tell my... I did this thing. We bought your seats, Doug! Yay! Greg Jennings is in our lap. I wish Greg Jennings was in my lap. You're watching the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 47. <laughs> Chiefs defensively have done an excellent job here today against Joe Flacco and the rest of the Baltimore offense. There's an opportunity here with a first and ten at the one. Up the middle, Monte Leach gets the call and creates some space for the four-yard gain. Coming up next, game two of our doubleheader, big one. Peyton Manning and the Broncos take on Tom Brady and the Patriots. Also the Bills and the Niners, the Titans going against the Vikings here on CBS. Manning and Brady, future Hall of Famers, going head to head, and Brady has had the upper hand in the past. Can't wait for that one. It's always fun to see two of the greatest. Second and six. Dixon, the motion man for Baltimore. Keep it on the ground. Not much there for Pierce. Gain of one on the play. Now this is a obviously a huge third down for both teams, but the Chiefs really need to make something happen with their defense. It just appears that their offense has been self-destructing throughout this afternoon. If their defense can come up with a turnover, that would help greatly their cause. Baltimore just one of eight on third downs here today. And that was on a penalty against the Chiefs. Third and five for the Ravens. Ten and a half to go on the fourth. Deep drop. Flacco lofts it high in the air. Incomplete. Dontari Poe with the heat on Joe Flacco and a quiet three and out for the Ravens offense. And that play really had no chance at all. 
Don Terry Poe, who started at nose tackle, number 92 here, works his way right into the face of Flacco. Does not uh, rough him illegally and causes that incompletion. Great play by the rookie Poe. Poe, a bit of a surprise pick at number 11 overall after having the impressive combine. Rookie from Memphis, Cook the punt. Arena should have room to work with here. Catches at the 37, Arenas, up step out across the 40-yard line. And a penalty marker thrown way back at the 10, 56-yard punt, four-yard return. Let's get ready to rumble. Five penalties against Baltimore. Carrying the kick, holding, number 93 of the receiving team. 10-yard penalty, first down. And that's the seventh penalty against Kansas City. Matt Castle and the Chiefs trying to get something going. Okay, guys, this kick is for the win. Label's out. Here we go. Wait, what? Our proximity to the field creates a parallel connection between the bottle and the ball. The outward-facing label simulates a smoother contact surface for the kicker. It's like magic, only real. Really? Yeah. But like, for the fans who do whatever it takes. We're testing new degree, the only antiperspirant activated directly by movement. Activating protection, bear! The more you move, the more it works. <laughs> new long-lasting degree with motion sense. Help me! Keep running! Domino's new handmade pan pizza may be our best pizza yet. We're starting with fresh dough, and we hand-press it into the pan. Then we top it with not one, but two layers of cheese. And it bakes up really nice and crispy. Try Domino's new handmade pan pizza with two toppings for just $7.99. This is the land of giants. Home of the brave. It's where fear goes unwelcome. And certain men find a way to rise above. This is the land of giants. Guts. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. Farmers. Find a knowledgeable local farmers agent at farmers.com. We are insurance. We are farmers. And by Bud Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Here we go. Welcome to the 10 Kansas City 30-yard line. Turnovers continue to plague the Kansas City Chiefs. Two lost fumbles, two interceptions. Seven penalties today, yet they're very much in this game, trailing Baltimore 9-3 with just over 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Kansas City takes over. They lost yardage on the penalty. Bootleg for Castle. Throws it away. Courtney Upshaw with a pressure on quarterback Castle. Yeah, the fans don't like the incompletion, but uh, it's a whole lot better than an interception. Did not force the ball that time, and one thing that Romeo Cornell talked to us about is that it's okay to throw the ball away at times. Don't take a sack. Don't throw an interception. Don't have negative play. You've seen enough of Matt Castle now through the years. Where are the areas where you still believe there could be improvement for him? Well, remember, he's had to change offensive coordinators so often, so getting used to new systems is not easy. And for Castle, lack of experience has hurt him. Second down now for Kansas City. Castle. Checks it down to Charles. Jamal Charles Jamal. keeps on moving, finding angles. Castle got drilled on the play. Kruger and McPhee knocking Castle down. It's a 16-yard catch and run. Yeah, he, he's in real trouble here as he was rocked. McPhee, who goes at about 280 pounds, Injury timeout. Go back to the hit. Kruger is 99. And is Nata as well. Nata at 340 may have knocked Castle out. Ram 
1500 Express. It says a lot about you. In a deep, Kimmy rumble sort of way. Guts, glory, ram. Creating a business website is easy. Point and click to create your site. Choose from 200 industries with customizable business designs. Add your pictures and text. Customers will find you everywhere. Try it for free. Oneinone.com. Little news, everyone. The Little Weeks down at Corporate are coming in, so I want everyone to think little. Little is the new big. New KFC Chicken Littles. Get big taste for a little price, just $1.29. This is going to be little. So, why are we up here? Because Farmers offers a new roof discount. Oh, boy. Yep. And it's an agent's job to help people find new ways to save. There's some cool stuff up here. There sure is. Look what I found. It's a fiddler on the roof. What are the chances? We are insurance. We are farmer. farmer, farmer. Bum, bum. New Tuesday. I'm just here to keep the peace. There's a new sheriff in town. The guy made you out to be the Pope. To be the funny hat. And new trouble in Vegas. Mr. Savino's hosting his friends. You have no idea what you've done. Sounds like your problem, not mine. TV's number one new show, Vegas, CBS Tuesday. In the circle is number 92, Haloti Nata, working against the rookie, Jeff Allen. Allen does a good job initially. But watch Nada swat him to the side and then explode into the quarterback. The fans uh, greeting Brady Quinn. Unfortunately for Matt Castle, not the way he wanted to leave the game. Castle was helped up. He did walk to the sideline on his own. Brady Quinn is now in there at quarterback. Up the middle, Charles gallops for a four-yard gain to the 50. Medical staff is with Matt Castle. Brady Quinn, ironically, his last... NFL game December 20th, 2009, as a member of the Cleveland Browns here in Kansas City. He then moved on to Denver, didn't play for them, and now getting an opportunity with the injury to Castle. Charles Kruger got a hold of him and slowed him down as Charles lost his helmet, and then Jameel McLean wrapped him up for a loss of one on the play. Hey, Kruger's been all over the place today for the Ravens, especially in the backfield. His Ability to get across the line of scrimmage and dive at Charles totally destroyed that play. Well, Baltimore has been looking for that player to come in and step in for Jared Johnson now in San Diego. Castle is going to head to the locker room for Kansas City. Brady Quinn facing a third and seven for Brown and Bronco. Working from the gun. Former star at Notre Dame connects. Dwayne Bow with the grab. Kansas City is on the move. They're at the Baltimore 31. Tight coverage from Kerry Williams, and Bow is there to haul it in. That's a good pass by Brady Quinn, a real strike. Coverage couldn't be much better. Williams uh, was right there, but the ball beat Williams to Bow. Brady Quinn made 12 NFL starts with Cleveland. He was with the Browns when Romeo Cornell was there as the head coach. Cyrus Gray keeps the legs churning. Gray just across the 25-yard line. Arthur Jones missed on him, and he took advantage with a six-yard gain. Coming up next, Denver at New England. Buffalo will be in San Francisco and Minnesota hosting Tennessee. Second half of the doubleheader here on CBS. From the Baltimore 25-yard line, we're down to 7.25 remaining. Ravens leading the Chiefs 9-3. Gray remains in the backfield. They give it to him. Gray knifing across the 15. He's got a first down. Asamoah on the right side. Creating some room for an 11-yard pickup. Gray, who fumbled in the first half, uh, led to three points for the Ravens when he couldn't catch a pitch out, takes that handoff easily, and great desire to pick up those 11 yards. Chiefs have got something going now behind Brady Quinn. Quinn running the show right now for Kansas City. 
Give to Gray. He is drilled by Ray Lewis. Tyrus Gray, the ball carrier. He was tackled by Ray Lewis. Big hit from the two-time defensive player of the year. Second down and 11 from the 15 yard line. Wow. It is a head injury for Matt Castle. His return is questionable for Kansas City. This is the ninth play of the drive for the Chiefs. A second and 11. Oliaki in motion. Quinn to Charles. Sheds a tackle and ripped down at the 15-yard line by Ray Lewis and Paul Kruger. Yeah, the one thing about Charles, he's just so much quicker than the Raven defenders. He caught that ball about five yards deep in the backfield and really made a lot out of nothing there with his quickness. Huge play here for the Chiefs. Third and long for Kansas City. Quinn will work out of the gun. Kansas City down by six. Quinn looks, throws in the middle. He's got ball, stumbling for the touchdown. Penalty marker is thrown. This may be another illegal pick against the Chiefs. The 22 of the defense. 10-yard penalty still third down. Looks like it's Dexter McCluster blocking the man who is covering Bo. Watch McCluster come out there. Bo cuts underneath. This they got away with when the replacement officials were here, but that's illegal contact. Pass interference, and it takes away six points and a potential lead for the Kansas City. You're right, though. That play was working when the replacement officials were on duty, something that they weren't necessarily looking for. It's not working today. That's twice now the Chiefs have been called for that exact play. Eight penalties costing Kansas City 60 yards. Back it up. It's a third and long now for Kansas City from the 25-yard line. Quinn. Dump off. Gray. And corralled at the 12 and a half by Donnell Ellerby. Give him a gain of 13. Field goal unit is coming on with Ryan Suckup. Again, it's a penalty, though, that absolutely kills the Kansas City Chiefs. Takes away a touchdown. They lost a touchdown on a castle fumble on a quarterback sneak. You can't afford to give up points in the NFL. You can't beat yourself. And that's what the Chiefs have done today. 31-yard field goal attempt to cut it into the Baltimore lead. Sucka connects. 9-6. Baltimore leads it. We've got 4-31 to play at Arrowhead. This is perfect. The Packers are going to be tough this year. Hope so. Aww. Yeah. I mean, aww. Yeah. That's six sacks on the season. Actually, it's seven. Even better, baby. With NFL Mobile from Verizon, no one knows the game better than you. Hey, Matthew! Well, almost no one. Get coverage of every NFL game on NFL Mobile and experience football on Verizon 4G LTE. All that stuff that's burning deep down inside of you, what is that? I want to know what you're afraid of. I don't know. Life is about how you perform when everything goes wrong. You panic out there, you die. I'm gonna train you to survive. You ever see something you think is the reason you're put here? You gonna slay that dragon? Once I look down over the edge, I'll become a part of it. And I'll know that I'm alive. Chasing Mavericks, based on the true story. Pretty PG. Nature isn't always serene. It can be outright savage. And you need a truck with the teeth to take it head on. The 2012 Mossy Oak Edition Ram Outdoorsman. Fog lamps. Hemi V8. Off-road tires. Claws. Guts. Glory. Ram. 
Two Broke Girls, Monday at 9, 8 Central, only CBS. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Verizon. Whatever you want to do, Troy does. And by Subway. Get a free 6-inch sub when you buy any 6-inch sub and a drink. Baltimore in front coming up time permitting after the game the NFL Today update presented by Farmers Insurance JB and the rest of the gang the latest NFL scores and highlights 431 to go fourth quarter Baltimore with a three-point lead Kansas City will kick it off suck up to Deontay Thompson Thompson had the fumble to start play in the third quarter bouncing it to the outside and he is chopped down at the 21 yard line Second half of the doubleheader is coming up here. The NFL on CBS. Denver at New England. We also have Buffalo at San Francisco. Minnesota hosting Tennessee. The NFL on CBS. Week 5 continues. But now, obviously, the Chiefs have got to find a way to stop Baltimore. The Chiefs only have two timeouts. Remember, they had to burn one in the third quarter when they were on offense. Baltimore, though, does lead the NFL this year. Eight touchdown drives of 80-plus yards. Two of those, 90-plus yards. Looking to go 80 yards here to try to put this game away. Handoff to Ray Rice. And sliding down low, Derek Johnson. No gain on the play. Ray Rice, a little bit slow to get up. Punched over on one knee. Yeah, that was a real blast by Derek Johnson. No game on the play. Johnson, a real playmaker here. That was a critical play on first down to hold Rice to no gain. And the Rice gonna, coming out. That's even a bigger play now. They're bringing in Bernard Pierce. Rice walks towards the Baltimore sideline. He went to the huddle, and he's pointing towards the left knee. Second and ten. It's Leach and Pierce in the backfield. Flacco looking to throw it. Rush is coming. Flacco is dumped. The ball popped loose at the end of the play. Scooped up. Derek Johnson. They're going to say he was down, though. Pete Morelli came in right away. Say that the quarterback was down or his forward progress had been stopped. No touchdown for KC. Tamba Hali came firing through with the pass rush on Flacco. Watch from the right side of the screen after Flacco is grabbed by Hali, number 91, coming around a corner here. Morelli is going to come in right about here. The ball was stripped out by Allen Bailey, but you can see Morelli saying no turnover. This Kansas and City is going to be challenged by Romeo Cornell here. And he'll have a conversation with Morelli to explain exactly what he's challenging. This Kansas City crowd thought their team had a touchdown on two occasions, only to see the bow touchdown called back. And this Johnson scoop into the end zone never happened in the eyes of the official. Watch uh, Pete Morelli come in here. Alan Bailey is going to strip the ball, number 97. You see him come in right here. And now if this is ruled as uh, forward progress being stopped, it's not challengeable. Yeah, he waved the play dead. And we had a clear picture of it as Morelli was running towards the scrum. So Cornell will scoop up the red flag. That can't be challenged by the Kansas City head coach. And Baltimore now faces a third and 15 with just over three minutes to play. 9-6 lead for the Ravens. Ray Rice back in there. Flacco steps up. Flacco looking to run. Long strides. Flacco has got the first down. He's an underrated runner. Joe Flacco needed 15. He got 16 to keep this drive going and quiet the crowd. Oh, this is a dagger in the hearts of this crowd. Great effort 
as Bailey drags him down from behind. But Flacco's eyes got big, his legs got long, and he got it. Kansas City will use a timeout at the 243 mark of this fourth quarter. Fans, turn your attention to AeroVision for a recap of today's highlights. Joe Flacco, the first Ravens quarterback to throw for 350-plus yards in back-to-back -back games, but it wasn't his arm here today that could turn out to be the difference for Baltimore. His numbers have been modest through the air, 187 yards passing. He exploded last week for 356. He's averaging 317 through the air coming into this game. Flacco with a huge run to give Baltimore a new set of downs. Well, and that offensive line is, is uh, really a work in progress, as you said, Ian. Sacked four times last week, sacked four times today, including the play previous. He said, I've had enough of that. I'll take things into my own legs. First down with 2.43 to play. Kansas City has one timeout remaining. Handoff, Ray Rice. Lunges ahead across the 35-yard line. It's a six-yard game. And the final timeout will be called. Even if Kansas City stops Baltimore now, they're not going to get the football until about a minute 10 to play in this fourth quarter. The miscues for Kansas City, the two fumbles, the two interceptions, the eight penalties, and all nine of Baltimore's points have come off turnovers. Yeah, and one of the penalties took away a touchdown to Bo. A fumble took away a touchdown on the quarterback snake. And then you allow Joe Flacco to run 16 yards on a third and 15 when you're desperate to get the ball back. Bad day for the guys in red. Kansas City quarterback Matt Castle, a head injury. Brady Quinn replaces him in relief, something that a lot of Chiefs fans have wanted to see here in the 2012 season, but I'm not sure anybody wants to see it that way. Nope. Second and four. First down here, and the game will be over. Rice. Battling for extra yardage, he is ruled down just short of the 40-yard line. And the clock is going to tick down to the two-minute warning. Kansas City cannot stop the clock anymore after this two-minute warning hits. Rice has gone over 100 yards on the ground. 16 carries for Rice, 101 today. We'll step aside. The final two minutes coming up. Baltimore nursing a three-point lead against the Chiefs. All the numbers prove Robert Griffin III trains hard. And that he trains smart, too. Attacking the record books with his fave, the low-fat, protein-rich Subway turkey breast with all the veggies the bread can hold. Third and athletes everywhere. This is the land of giants. Home of the brave. It's where fear goes unwelcome. And certain men find a way to rise above. This is the land of giants. Guts. Glory. Ram. Yeah, Macy's carries 150 styles of Levi's, so there's something for everyone. Hipsters. 513 Slims. Fashionistas. 524 Skinnies. Construction workers. 505s. Elves. 510s. Boom! That's the magic of Macy's. The power to become a better investor has gone mobile. With features like scanning a barcode to get detailed stock quotes to voice recognition, E-Trade leads the way in wherever, whenever investing. Download the ultimate in mobile investing apps free at E-Trade. The Amazing Race is this year's Emmy winner. Woo! And CBS Tonight. Going to Indonesia, baby. Get into the most exciting. We're racing the bull. Epic adventure on TV. We have been dieting, so hopefully it won't take much horsepower to beat that bull. I the Amazing Race, new episode, CBS Tonight. Still to come, Denver at New England, Buffalo at San Francisco, and Tennessee taking on Minnesota, the second half of our NFL on CBS doubleheader. 
One more yard for Baltimore. And they seal the deal. Third and one for the Ravens. Kansas City is out of timeouts. Ray Rice stuffed initially in that second effort for Rice. I don't think he got it. Needed to get to the 41-yard line. Boy, he bounced a little bit there. Are they going to give him that second bounce or not? It appears to be just enough for the first down. But you tell me, Eagle Eye. It's actually an uh, iron eagle. Well, eagle, comma, eye, <laughs> period. <laughs> well, we're going to find out here momentarily if this game is over. It is. First down, Baltimore. Kansas City will not get the football back. Baltimore can just take a knee. The question was his knee down earlier before the ball was spotted where it was. And it would have to be a booth review inside of two minutes. No challenges, obviously. So we will have a booth review. Yeah, the officials should take a look at that. Yeah, I mean, this is a game deciding review. Baltimore with a 9-6 lead if the first down stands. They'll go into the victory formation and head home with a 4-1 record. Uh, hard to see where Rice's knees go down when he had the ball, but this line here is the 41. That's what he needed to get to to pick up the first down. But as you noted earlier, he did have that bounce down on the ground there emerging uh, on that second look. It appears he got it. I actually think they gave him a bad mark. When he hits the ground here, he's at about the 41 and a half yard line. You know, his ability to squeeze through the slightest of holes. He's so strong, and you talked about his balance earlier. But on five feet and eight inches, packing 212 pounds, that's a lot of power. Check it from this angle. Yeah, he's good. He got it. I you know, should mention as well, Dan, the Baltimore Orioles. And this is for our associate director, Jonathan Siegel. And a lot of people back in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. a few there. A few Orioles fans. October baseball is alive and well in Baltimore. 15 years between playoff appearances and taking on the Yankees after knocking out the two-time defending American League champion Texas Rangers. So congrats to Buck Showalter. What a job he's done in the city of Baltimore enjoying the baseball after reviewing football. The, play, the ruling on the field stands. It is a first down and that's your ball game. The Baltimore Ravens improved to four and one. Cincinnati down with three minutes to play. I think and the Yankees are worried about the Orioles. I would be if I were a Yankee fan. I think so. I think Hot team, the end of the year. Look at the St. Louis Cardinals did last year as a wild card. The Orioles have a little magic carpet ride going right now. will take a knee. Kansas City cannot stop the clock. The Chiefs will drop to one and four. They had the right game plan. They executed that game plan, but key mistakes once again hurting this Kansas City squad. They have now lost seven of their last eight here at Arrowhead. They're one and four as we take a look at the AFC West standings. And that game plan offensively for the Chiefs was to put the ball on the ground, and they did, and they did well on the ground. They ran 68 plays, 50 of them were rushes, just 18 passes between Castle and Quinn. They outgained Baltimore here today, 338 yards for Kansas City, 298 for the Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens improved to four and one on the season hard fought win against the Kansas City Chiefs 
Our final score at Arrowhead, 9-6. Baltimore over the Chiefs. Matt Castle forced to leave this game with a head injury. Brady Quinn stepping in for him. Who knows what the future of that position holds at quarterback for Kansas City. And coming up next, it will be the second half of the doubleheader. Denver, New England, Buffalo, San Francisco, Tennessee, Minnesota. For Dan Fouts, the rest of our CBS crew, I'm Ian Eagle. So long from Kansas City. Coming up after these messages, NFL Today update presented by Farmers Insurance. This is the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 47. Oh, hi, Tom. Hey. My little boy loves playing football. It's a great game. But what is the NFL doing to make the game safer? We're doing a lot. Carl? Well, Tom, we're developing new rules to better protect our players. And over the next decade with the NFL Players Union, they're dedicating more than $100 million for medical research. Wow. As well as supporting the development of better and safer equipment. And I feel a lot better about him playing. Love to meet the little guy. Ray, meet Tom. Cute kid. Hey, Steven. Hey, man. Think I can get that jersey? <laughs> no problem, Jason. For real? There you go. One brand new Steven Jackson jersey. Oh. I meant the one you're wearing. You don't want this. Yeah. It's sweaty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aaron, can I have your hat? I'm in the middle of an interview. Well, I'm in the middle of stuff, too, Aaron. I mean, maybe not at the moment, but later on, I got lots of stuff to do. Tuesday, NCIS is raising the dead. Your case, you're late. I think I'm gonna like this. It's one weird crime. Rock and roll! This should be entertaining. Ducky's cold case is warming up. A new NCIS, followed by a new NCIS Los Angeles. Then, there's a new sheriff in town. I'm just here to keep the peace. And new trouble in Vegas. Mr. Savino's hosting his friends. You have no idea what you've done. Sounds like your problem. TV's number one new show, Vegas, Tuesday. Don't miss Hawaii Five O Monday only CBS. Man, these Sonic flat mounts are really bringing me and my taste buds closer together. Oh, that's nice. You guys are close. It's like we're not even taste buds. We're taste bros. Oh, okay. It's like we all went through some real cool nature experience together, but things didn't get weird. Is the point of this that I'm not in on it? You make your own relationships. You seek out your own peer group, man. I found mine. A barbecue feast in the palm of your hand. New hickory flat melt sandwiches. And save room for creamy cheesecake bites. This is how you Sonic. Brown in New York. Welcome to the NFL Today Update presented by Farmers Insurance. We're going to get you right out to the game between Miami and Cincinnati. Dolphins holding a four-point lead. 239, Marv Albert, Rich Gannon. By Miami, and after those uh, two field goals by Mike Nugent of, of Cincinnati, and we've come down to 239 left, and a 17-13 lead for the Dolphins, second and seven, at midfield for Miami. Bush and Lane on the backfield, lined up in the eye. Go, go! Bush trying to follow Lane. Just come with me. Michael, what? Mom, remember the goblin? Michael, what are you talking about? <laughs> Just swear, the most excellent promise you can make. Michael. <laughs> That's terrific.
on criminal minds. No one's ever seen anything like this. When a serial killer takes his own life... He wanted the police here. The BAU must follow clues to find his last victim. Let's go and try to work home. Criminal Minds, tomorrow, 4-3 Central. Ion Television, positively entertaining. You're watching Ion Television, positively entertaining. A home-cooked meal isn't a fantasy. It's not a dream that's dashed with every errand. It's real and it's doable with a little help. Hamburger Helper. With 40 varieties, a home-cooked meal is never out of reach. Hamburger Helper. Help is on the way. If you think occasional irregularity is no big deal, think twice. It may be a sign that your digestive system could be working better. Listen to this. With occasional irregularity, things your body doesn't use could be lingering in your system, causing discomfort. But Activia has been shown in clinical studies to help with slow intestinal transit when consumed three times per day. Seven out of ten doctors recommend Activia. And the great taste is recommended by me. Activia. Get in on the fun during the PetSmart Fall Festival of Savings. Save up to 20% on thousands of items and save up to $4 on select varieties and sizes of Nature's Recipe dog food. Exclusively at PetSmart. Imagine facing the day with less chronic osteoarthritis pain. Imagine living your life with less chronic low back pain. Imagine you with less pain. Cymbalta can help. Cymbalta is FDA approved to manage chronic musculoskeletal pain. One non-narcotic pill a day, every day, can help reduce this pain. Tell your doctor right away if your mood worsens, you have unusual changes in mood or behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Cymbalta is not approved for children under 18. People taking MAOIs or thyroidazine or with uncontrolled glaucoma should not take Cymbalta. Taking it with NSAID pain relievers, aspirin, or blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Severe liver problems, some fatal, were reported. Signs include abdominal pain and yellowing skin or eyes. Tell your doctor about all your medicines, including those for migraine. And while on Cymbalta, call right away if you have high fever, confusion, and stiff muscles, or serious allergic skin reactions like blisters, peeling rash, hives, or mouth sores to address possible life-threatening conditions. Talk about your alcohol use, liver disease, and before you reduce or stop Cymbalta. Dizziness or faint. Portobello mushrooms. Have you had lunch yet? No. That's the power of Wendy's new hot and melty bacon portobello melt. That's better. I thought about those other schools for about three seconds. This just feels like home. The practical experience I'm getting here is priceless. I can close my laptop and be flying through the Flint Hills in less than 12 minutes. Dr. Seamus called me last semester when I had the flu, and he just wanted to see I was all right. I never thought I'd do research like this as an undergrad. It doesn't get any better than the endless shrimp at Red Lobster. You can mix and match all day. Red Lobster's endless shrimp is back, but only for a limited time. Try as much as you like, any way you like, like Parmesan crusted shrimp. Just $14.99. I'm Ryan Isabel, and I see food differently. Hi, I'm Courtney for Auto Start USA. With five lots and over 500 vehicles in stock, we have the biggest selection in town. Online at myautostartusa.com. Start it up, Auto Start USA. Start it up. Promotional consideration on How I Met Your Mother has been provided by Chamberlain Battery Backup Garage Door Openers with MyQ Technology. Closes your garage door automatically if you forget and works when the power's out. Visit myqhome.com. What did 3,000 doctors say after reviewing 5-Hour Energy? You might be surprised. Go to doctorsreview5hour.com to find out. Before Allegra, my allergy medicine took hours to work or made me drowsy. After Allegra, I have the only 24-hour medicine that's both fast and non-drowsy. After Allegra, I have it all. <laughs> Chimichanga. We have to go.
week at night, worlds of fun gets transformed, and so will you. Over 500 gruesome creatures, 10 haunted attractions, and 45 hair-raising rides. Plan your night of fear at worldsoffun.com slash haunt. Excuse me, miss. This fiber one ninety calorie brownie has all the moist, chewy deliciousness you desire. Mmm. Thanks. At 90 calories, the brownie of your dreams is now deliciously real. And now, try our new chocolate chip cookie 90 calorie brownie. The answer is up there, in the patterns. Our best guess is, it hasn't gotten very far. Oh, we rattle a few... Morning. Five minutes, Homeland Marathon, on demand. We put Showtime on your time. Sorry. Passionate about Homeland? We invent better ways to love it even more. Time Warner Cable, enjoy better. The practically imperfect family meets the practically perfect nanny. I'll do everything from telling stories to changing diapers. Put me down for one of each. The Simpsons. Watch tonight at 6.30 on 38th of Spot. What we do with bowls is even more amazing. New Bueno Bowls from Taco Bueno, starting at $3.99. Build yours just the way you like it with 15 incredible toppings and extras. New Bueno Bowls from Taco Bueno. Grab one and go. Viewer discretion is advised. It seems today that all you see is sex on TV. But where are those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely? And cry. He's a I just sleep, Peter. Huh, Brian, last night I had a crazy dream I was eating a sheep and now my pillow's gone. Oh, wait, here it is. What the hell was I eating? Oh, sorry. to one aid. Oh, God, did I hit that deaf kid again? It'll put a bell on that guy. The nurse says Brian won't be out of surgery for another three hours. Oh, I hope he's gonna be okay. Me too. I know we're not here to place blame or beat ourselves.